Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you a story. I went from zero to a million dollars in net commission within three short years. I had moved to Florida about five years ago. I had no clue what I was gonna do in life. I had no direction. That was my issue that I needed to solve. So I got into real estate relatively quick. I passed the test, I got my license, I signed up with eXp. In my first year of doing real estate, I did about $80,000 in commission, which is kind of incredible if you ask me. I wasn't really putting in that much time and effort, maybe about six hours a day. I was still goofing around, but my second year, Year, that's when things really took off. Then I started putting in a little bit more effort, probably 10 to 12 hours a day, and I made 250 grand in my second year. That's pretty miraculous. In my third year, though, I changed everything. Then I started getting back to people a little bit quicker. I started answering all my leads, and I made $510,000 in my third year. Now, let me tell you a little bit about how I did it. So I worked with renters. I focused on any broker advertised yes properties, meaning I would take a listing from the MLS and I would put it up on Facebook Marketplace. Place. Obviously, you got to get the permission from the listing broker, but once you put that listing up, you're going to get leads flooding in. Once you get leads flooding in, your goal is to actually get that property rented out. If you can't, no big deal. Set them up in your MLS, convert them to a client of yours. That's my entire strategy. Then you go and show them properties, and then after that, you collect your money. It's that easy. I did $510,000 in commission last year just by doing that. That was it. Let me tell you what changed. So in my first year, yes, I did about 50 deals, made about 80K in commission, but I wasn't applying myself like I should have been. I had had a moment in the shower with my girlfriend where I was sitting there talking to her and all of a sudden she looked at me and said, Andy, I want you to make more money than me. I said, well, how can I do that? At this time, she was doing a lot better than me and I was a new realtor and it was in a new state for me. So I didn't really know if I can do better than her. But she looked at me and said, you're playing video games at two o'clock in the afternoon. You're going to play tennis in the afternoon. You're watching Netflix in the afternoon. Why aren't you working? And I looked at her and said, you know what? You're right. At first, I might have got a little offended. She was 100% correct. So the very next day, that's what I did. I went from working six hours a day to 12 hours a day. Once I started doing that, everything changed to me. I tripled my income that year. I went from 80K to $250,000 in commission. That was about 170 deals, most of those being rental deals. Some house sales, I probably did about five to eight house sales that year, but most of those were actually rental deals. Now, a lot of people do not like working with renters, right? I don't know why, because renters are such an easy way to make money. You don't have to spend that much time per deal. You're probably only spending spending about two or three hours per deal, which is pretty phenomenal if you're gonna make $2,000 per deal. Where else can you make that kind of money for that kind of work? It gets even better than that. In my third year, I did $510,000. That was about 250 deals. That's right. I'm gonna repeat that one more time. I made 510 grand in 250 deals in my third year as a brand new realtor. At this point, I had really buckled down. I wasn't getting to all of my leads. Let's say I would have 100, maybe 200 leads coming in every single day day. I was getting overwhelmed in my second year and I couldn't respond to everybody. Well, I started getting smart. I maximized my time. I became more efficient. I started building systems and processes for myself so I would shave off precious seconds on every single task that I was doing. At the end of the day, I was able to reach back out to every single lead that I had. Instead of having thousands of leads just pile up over weeks of time, I would respond to everybody within 24 hours of them reaching out to me. And this did wonders for my business. That's how I doubled my income from 250 to 5 I also did other little things like follow-ups. I would actually get back to people if they didn't respond to me. So let's say as an example, it's a lead. A lead reached out to me, I responded to them, and then they never got back to me. Well, 24 hours later, I would respond to them with a quick little follow-up. And then all of a sudden they would say, oh my God, I totally forgot to get back to you. I added probably 20 to 30% just to my business by doing follow-ups. So there was these little tricks and tactics that I was using now to expand my business. I was thinking like, okay, I'm making 250K now, but I know I'm leaving money on the table. Now, granted, I wish I could tell you this is a get rich quick scheme. I wish I could tell you this was super easy, but it's not. I busted my butt. I worked so incredibly hard in my third year. And well, I still do to this day. I worked so many hours. I was probably putting in close to 16 hours every single day. I wasn't taking vacations. I wasn't taking time off. I was working nonstop. Every second I wasn't sleeping, I was working. Now you might be sitting there thinking to yourself, wondering how on earth did I do these kind of numbers as a solo agent with no team, no help whatsoever, no transaction coordinators, no assistant, nobody. I did it all alone. So it is possible. If you're sitting there thinking, well, there's no way I can do 250 deals in a year by myself, you absolutely can. There is nothing that makes me better than you. The only difference between me and you is I did it. I sat down and looked at myself in the mirror and said, you got this. If you want something, go out there and take it. And that's exactly what I did. And that's how I transformed my life. I was some little old kid from Connecticut on the verge of going broke and I changed everything. 
everything. I went from zero to a million dollars in net commission within three short years. I am right now the number two ranked agent in the entire company of eXp Realty, and we have close to 90,000 agents. I managed to do this after a few years in the business. I want my story to motivate you and to inspire you and encourage you to go out there and try new things. My biggest tip and secret that I did was I niched down. I picked one niche and I became the expert, the master in that one niche. For me, it was rentals, which I think there's a massive gap in the market right now. I think most agents do not want to touch renters. They don't want to work with tenants or landlords. They don't want anything to do with it. They're taught to go after the bigger deals. I think that's complete BS. I think you should be going after these small deals. Most realtors don't want to work with them. And guess what? Your renters, they're going to turn into buyers eventually. So they're going to reward you right now with $2,000 on average per deal for your commission. And then later they're going to buy a house with you. So just imagine this, maybe you have 500 deals that you do over the next three years. Well, guess what? Let's say you take 10% of those. That's 50 people that are now going to buy a house with you every single year. That's another $500,000 a year. Tack that onto your rental business where you're making $500,000. Now you're at a million dollars a year just from working with renters. Here's the thing. You can't be lazy. You got to do the things that other people won't do. If you separate yourself from everybody else in the herd, then all of a sudden everybody's going to come to you. You're going to be the man. You're going to be the expert in whatever niche that you choose. It doesn't matter what market you're in. If it's a buyer's market, a seller's market, it doesn't matter. Rentals are always going to be there. Everybody's always going to need a place to live. You're always going to be able to make money if you're working with renters. That's the beauty of this strategy. You can make money no matter what. It doesn't matter if it's a recession. It doesn't matter if there's a ton of listings out there or there's no inventory. It doesn't matter whatsoever. I did this during a global pandemic where everybody was scrambling and staying indoors and our inventory dropped down to like almost zero. And I still managed to make all of this money. You're probably asking yourself, how did I do it? Well, I had faith in myself. I focused on one thing and I obsessed over that. Now, usually people say obsessing is not good, but if you're doing it for something that's going to make you succeed, then it's great. It's fantastic. There's no better thing to obsess about than money and success and helping other people. Because at the end of the day, that's what you're doing. You're helping other families. I'll never forget this. I had this family that I helped. It was my very first deal I did. It was December of 2019. It was the holiday season. And this family, a husband, a wife, and three children, they were struggling and desperate to find a place. No other realtor wanted to touch their case, but I did. I went out there. I must have done at least 10 showings for them during the holiday seasons. And I had a miracle. I found them a place right before Christmas. The look on their face, I'll never forget it. When I gave them the keys, they both, the husband and wife, broke down and started crying. They were overwhelmed with joy. They were so happy that I was able to find them a place when no other realtor would even give them a call back. I changed their life and they changed my life. From then on, I was focused. I was hooked. I was obsessed with doing real estate and working with renters. That became my passion in life and it paid off. Look at me now. Now I'm able to talk to you guys and inspire you and help you and motivate you and show you there's a different way. I'm so excited for my future. It's not the end. It's only the beginning. Now I'm building a team. Now I'm bringing on other agents and helping them. I'm telling other agents how to do this. I'm making videos. I'm building something great right now. I hope you guys will stick around for the rest of my journey because I'm just getting started. If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below. I do respond to everybody's comments and I'll catch everybody in the next one. All right. That was pretty damn good.